Hey guys, today we are testing out three different curling tools. Does that make sense? Hair tools for curling my hair to see which one looks the best. So keep watching if you want to find out. Today, I thought we would start out easy and just use my curling iron. This is the Kristen S curling iron. I should turn it on. All of my products will be from the Kristen S line that you can get at Target. So I thought I would just, I'm probably just gonna show a couple pieces and speed it up and then show you the final product. So that way you can kind of get the gist of how to do it with a certain tool and then go from there. And I hopefully I'm gonna try and just like either wear like the same thing or like a similar so that way and have, I have like a, a little bit of makeup on to just give us a nice face. If that way I won't be biased if I feel ugly one day or something. Okay, so I normally like to split my hair because it's just easier for me to do that. say on these front pieces I'm a little bit more particular of how they look the back pieces I'm kind of like I don't care <laughs> I don't have to look at it so my hair is like part of a different way I'm trying some something new so of course I would be trying something new I like to on these top pieces not curl as close up to my head and still the same type of curl Oh, and always make sure, I like to curl like down, hold on, away from your face. <laughs> always make sure to curl away from your face. I just feel like that's what looks better for me. Um, I like, and I like for these ones to be a bit lower where the curl starts, just to kind of shape my face. I may fix this one a little bit. We'll see how it does whenever it brushes out. Okay, so the same thing, just kind of start the curl, the curl, <laughs> just kind of start the curl a little bit lower than I've been doing the other ones. And straight at the bottom, just start a little lower. Curl through. And I only do this for like a few seconds. My hair holds pretty well because. I don't know, it just holds pretty well. So if your hair's a bit, maybe needs a little bit more love, give it a few more seconds. But one of Kristen's S tips is that if it's too hot for your hands, it's too hot for your hair. So if you're like touching it, okay. So now let's go ahead and give it all a spray. And I like to let them cool before I brush it out. That should be pretty good. We're gonna brush out this side. This is just like a wide tooth comb. You can use a brush, you can use your fingers. This piece is way longer because I don't normally part my hair this way. Wait, those are still a little warm, but we can get these. Okay, now I can't really see in this. Oh, let's look. Okay, so like these are look like this looks like literally all one piece. So I would just go in and grab a small piece up top and just curl a bit more closer to my head to give a little bit more definition. Same thing. Just pick a piece where you think and curl a little bit closer. I like doing smaller pieces when I do this, not like a huge piece like I did the rest. 
Okay, so I like to go in with some texture spray just because I feel like my hair doesn't have a ton of volume and that's really what I'm going for is loose, volumey waves. My favorite texture spray is the Kristen S. Uh, this should just be, this should just be called Kristen S hair products anyway. Uh, this is a three in one dry texture, dry texture spray by SGX. NYC it's like dry shampoo it says dry shampoo meets hairspray so it's my first time not my first it's my first time trying it but not my first time using it does that make sense I hope so it's like a lot goes a long ways as well and you don't want to like I feel like there's a fine line of like using texture spray and you don't do too much because if you do too much It'll be heavy on your hair and your hair will fall out. It's <laughs> literally what I'm doing, just swinging this around. Oh, wait. It's been 10 minutes, 10 minutes of me freaking talking. Holy crap, I'm about to cut some stuff out. Okay, here is my final look for using the curling iron. It looks a little different than usual, <laughs> which is not what I want. I don't know. Here's the side. This side. I don't even know what it looks like. I'm kind of nervous. Well, tell me what you think about this one. This one's number one for using the curling iron. So that's it for this portion, and I'll see you another day for. Let's do the wand next. The wand is up next. Which I'm kind of nervous about. I haven't used a wand in a long time. Final look at the curling iron. Okay, it is a couple days later, and today we're doing the wand i use the kristen s wand it's a little bit of a bigger barrel so it might look a little different anyways but i don't think it's too bad okay so for the sake of time and for the video not being three hours long i'm gonna go ahead and get started and once i get to the top pieces i'll show you guys what i do it what i do how i do it and hopefully by that many times i've got it down because I I said I used to use this one but I haven't used it in a while so we'll see how rusty I am. So I'm going to show you how I've been doing this and I'm glad I practiced some first before. Because at first I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, so I just like to section off a piece of hair. And um, you always want to hold the barrel downwards. And I like to keep my hair flat. Some people kind of keep it twisted. It gives it a little different look. And I'm just holding a piece off. Wrap it around for a few seconds. And let it go. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. This is one. Not for sure how long to hold it on. You can just touch your hair. If it's too hot for your finger, it's too hot for your hair. I really like that trick. It's easy to remember. But I feel like I know my hair pretty well. And just kind of guesstimate whenever to take it off. I will say the wand, I feel like, is a bit more forgiving than the iron. If you mess up, it's like, hmm. Not too bad, and easy to fix. Like that one was a little, but we're just gonna keep going. Okay. Once again, I like to keep the barrel down and just wrapping it around until I get a little bit inch or so from the end. It's gonna fall out. <laughs> Okay, another trick that I learned if you want to do a little bit more volume is if you hold the end and then where it's curled, just swoosh, 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 like this. And you can do that on a few, it gives it some more volume. I should have been doing that because these don't have too much volume. Okay, let's finish this out. I knew this was gonna happen. So the Kristen S curlers have a 30 minute 
shut off. So if it's been on for 30 minutes, it shuts off. And I had it over here um, warming up while I <laughs> gathered my stuff. And I think, I hopefully it wasn't like that. Maybe that's why these ones are a little, I'm gonna just <laughs> do them over. It's definitely a bit more different. I would say like, I kinda would wanna need a straightener and straighten out some of my wavy ends and that would probably help a little, but it makes the curls a bit more bigger so you kinda have a little bit looser wave, which is kinda nice some days. So I'll do a little better 360 of it going around. This is what it looks like using a wand. Next up is gonna be the hardest one for me because I don't think I've ever done a full head of hair with a straightener, but we'll see. Okay, here we are for the last round of testing. <laughs> I'm using the 3-in-1 Kristen S. The 3-in-1 Kristen S straightener, flat iron, flat iron. And I saved this one for last because it might be an epic fail. I've only done this like three times, I feel like, curling my hair with a straightener. But I want to be better. I'll just get started with the flat iron. I'm just gonna do the same thing as last time. I'm gonna do the bottom pieces and then show you guys some tips and tricks. Tips. <laughs> some tips and tricks. Like, why would I say tips and tricks if I hadn't just told you that I started I'm nervous? Can you tell I'm nervous? I'm a little bit nervous for this one. It'll probably look like dumb. Let's do this. so far I'm feeling pretty good so let me just show you guys what I've been doing so I've just been getting kind of a small piece I feel like smaller than what I would normally use and again I like to curl away from my face so I'm gonna be going to the left yeah so just get it and do the little turn pull curl will normally go just do it again okay that was like epic fail <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen I was gonna show and it's not gonna okay let me just try again let's go with this piece right here the front piece you know really need to concentrate and just turn around go on down but there's a nice little crease so you don't want to do that which means I was taking too long Okay, let's just keep going. But honestly, when I first started out, I just was like flying through. And I was like, um, oh my gosh, who am I? But then of course, when I go to show you guys, I suck up. Okay, so same thing, but this time I'm gonna curl towards Twisting down. And now I like to give it a little spin. Ta-da! See that one was good. So let's do this piece. Give it a little twist. Pull, twist again, pull down. And that one looks pretty good. Sorry, I don't feel like I can talk with these very much. I feel like I have to concentrate. Yeah. Not bad. I don't think I actually would want to do that, but I'm just impressed. Okay, let's hairspray. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. I think I'm gonna straighten some ends, but I wanted to show you before I do that, just in case you don't like to straighten your ends, but let me do that. Okay, this is what it looks like after I straighten the ends and put some texture spray to give me some more volume. I really like it and I think I kind of want to do this more often. I don't know why I don't. Okay, for my final thoughts on testing these three, I 
really enjoyed using this and I think I should do it a lot more and I think I need to get better at it. I really like it for one because I have actually wavy hair so a lot of like pieces in the back or close to my head get wavy not actually straight but when doing this it just really gets out those kinks and then it's just a curl I also think it was a lot faster to me this and the curling iron to me is super super fast the wand I used I feel like I used to be faster at it but even still I think I just feel like this and the curling iron is like one motion whereas the wand you're wrapping it and then holding it for a while and I just don't think it's I just feel like the wand and the straightener doesn't take as long. And plus for this straightener is I, I don't, there's really no way to burn your fingers. The curl iron, I don't really burn my fingers, but the wand, I feel like you could definitely burn your fingers. Honestly, they're all three really great tools. I can do a favor. I'm honestly really loving the straightener and I don't know why I don't use it more. I feel like it looks a little bit more put together, but still being like that wavy look that I like. But it looks kind of more put together, I feel like. But comment down below and tell me which one was your favorite or which one you prefer. I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment. It was really fun to get to test out all three of my hair tools and see which one I actually like using the best. Comment below and tell me maybe what you'd like to see next. Maybe I could try out something else. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!